Hey you guys, and it's another one. Diddy is being hit with another lawsuit. Can you believe this? Yes, he's been hit with the SA lawsuit from 2003 by a model that alleges she was D with a laced blunt and forced to perform OS by Diddy as well as being passed around his guest. You guys, this one is very messy. Like for Diddy, it's like jumping from frying pan to a hot pot of water, you guys. But before we get right into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss more updates on this story and other celebrity relationship gist. So, dear royalties, kings and queens, it looks like more people are starting to come out and tell their stories as regards Diddy. We all knew that after the Casey Venturas lawsuit, that it was game up because a lot of people have been encouraged to speak up more. Crystal McKinley claims that back in 2003 she met Diddy at a men's fashion week event and was invited back to his studio. She said Diddy drunk Hennessy and had blondes in rotation but she felt strange after smoking it. McKinley says the blonde was laced with another D. Feeling like because Diddy making her follow him to the bathroom where he then forced himself on her, allegedly shoving her head down and asking her to S I it. She refused. Crystal says he continued to force her head down, making her perform OS on him. As she started to walk away, she woke up in a cab. Oh my, can you believe this is outrageous? Not after doing this and putting her in a cab when she was unconscious. McKelly says she was even blackballed from the modeling industry after the incident and attempted suicide due to severe depression. Crystal says she felt morally obligated to speak out after Cassie and others filed their lawsuit. She's seeking damages, but the amount is unspecified at this time. Again, y'all, it looks like things are getting bad for Diddy. I mean, did you not expect it? Everyone know that things are going to come up more and more things, just like Bill Cosby more and more women started to come up and the downside about things like this is that even those who were not really victims are gonna try to play the game to get some payout out of this but who can you doubt you don't want to doubt somebody again and find out that they are telling the truth the whole time this is the result of doing something and being publicly caught and then anybody can just point more accusations at you and people will not know whether to stand with you or to believe you. Also about more updates on the Diddy Cassie case, Mr. Hilton, Diddy's baby mama, first baby mama addresses the video of Diddy and Cassie. While sharing photos of Diddy's kids in a slide on her page, she said, I am heartbroken that Cassie must relieve the horror of and my heart goes out to her. I know exactly how she feels and through my empathy, it has triggered my own trauma. <laughs> you guys. Can y'all see the underlining note of what of her abuse Mr. Hilton is saying? It has triggered my own trauma. She went on to say these young people referring to Diddy's kids were raised by women that want the best for them. We put God and education first and have always been united in our mutual effort to support their dreams. Two of the youngest do not have their mother here and it has been our duty to support them. Their father needs help and I'm praying that he truly does personal work and receives it. Well, 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 you guys, do y'all see the underlining note of what Miss Mr. Hilton is saying? It looks like she has her own story with Diddy. She has her own experience. She has her own trauma because she is saying she understands firsthand what Cassie must have went through. And it has also triggered her own trauma. Guys, guys, Diddy is no saint. I know a lot of people are hurt because he is our hero, you know, being in the hip hop music industry and pop culture. He did a lot of great work and now seeing him ruin his legacy, like Chalaman the God said, it's hurting. But that does not take away from the fact that he is a perpetrator and he needs to pay with the full rot of the law. Because more and more people in power need to see this done for and disease from it. I'm sure at a time where Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on stage, Diddy definitely felt some type of way and maybe even lend his voice within his circle. Today, there are other people and celebrities lending their voice against what Diddy has done. Who knows, maybe their own dirty linen will be brought out in the future. Like, can we just live a righteous life, a life free from blemish and accusation? Can we just live right so that there's nothing 
lurking around in the future waiting to pop out and all of our works and our legacy is brought to sheer embarrassment coming from Didi's baby mama this is not looking good but what are your thoughts you guys share your thoughts on this new lawsuit that Didi is going through right now from this model Kristen McKinley who is speaking out now do y'all think there will be more women coming up you guys share your thoughts in the comment section about the new lawsuit and the time it happened and just everything Missa had to say y'all know I love to hear your opinion and as always thank you so much for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video